breaking news Scotland. We found the biggest fry ever. <laughs> it's like an empanada. Huge. Welcome to Falkland, Scotland, a beautiful village with a royal palace, lush gardens, and plenty of magic, and oversized pub fries. We visited here right in the middle of our eight day road trip through Scotland, and it was the perfect vacation within our vacation. Grant and I like to see and do as much as we can when we travel, which is great because we get to experience so many new things, but it can also be tiring to go at that pace for a whole trip. So over the years, we found that it's useful to build in some time to slow down and relax during our travels. And Falkland was a perfect place to do that. Falkland is a little village about an hour's drive north of Edinburgh. It's home to a royal palace, and it also happens to be a filming location for the show Outlander, which is how we first got Falkland on our radar. Falkland stood in for Inverness in season one of Outlander. In fact, the historic Covenanter Hotel in Falkland served as the fictional Mrs. Baird's Inn. It's where Frank and Claire Randall had their second honeymoon. And this is where we were lucky enough to book a room for the night. We dropped off our bags and were ready to explore. Now for some sightseeing. Right in front of the Covenanter Hotel is the beautiful neo-gothic Bruce Fountain. Outlander fans know this fountain as the place where a certain Highlander looks up at Claire through the window. Is Grant looking for me in that window? Across the street is the Fair Earth gift shop, which was also featured in the very first episode of Outlander as Farrell's general store. So you have the Covenanter Hotel, the Bruce Fountain, and the Fair Earth gift shop all within steps of each other. But Falkland is much more than just a filming location. It's also a historical and cultural landmark in its own right. This is the beautiful Falkland Palace, a royal residence of Scottish monarchs, and a personal favorite of Mary, Queen of Scots. The entrance fee was only 13 pounds and lets you explore the palace and its amazing grounds, which sit on three hectares. Take a look around and you'll find the oldest surviving real or royal tennis courts in the world. It was built for the young King James V in 1539, but real or royal tennis isn't exactly what most of us know as modern day tennis. The rackets, the balls, and gameplay are all slightly different, and there are only about 50 tennis courts of this kind left in the world. And this one at the Falkland Palace is the only one left in Scotland pretty special. Keep walking and you'll find this beautiful gate built into a stone wall, which gives me certain secret garden vibes. Here you'll find a giant grassy area where you're welcome to picnic or play lawn games. And you know what? They even provide the lawn games. Here, you'll also find one of the castle's most popular attractions, the Live Willow Labyrinth. It's a lot of fun and a great way to feel like a kid again. And it's super rewarding once you get to the domed center. One thing we've learned exploring so many castles throughout the UK is that each one has its own personality and character, depending on its history and original purpose. We've seen castles that were built as military strongholds, so they're big and intimidating. This one, Falkland Palace, was built as a royal hunting lodge, so it very much has the feeling of a luxurious country estate. After exploring the castle grounds, we were ready for some lunch. We walked over to the hayloft for some sandwiches, soup, and tea. It's the cutest little tea room with signed memorabilia from the Outlander cast. This place should definitely be on your list for afternoon tea. If you're looking for a quick bite, Helen's Bakery is also a great choice. They offer a bunch of sweet and savory baked goods, including a whole selection of savory pies, 
like mince and gravy pie, steak pie, and our favorite, mac and cheese and bacon pie. Yum. And if you're planning a picnic, stop in at the Townhouse Deli and Bakery. It's a market with locally produced treats, crackers, meat, cheese, and baked goods. This is also a great place to pick up gifts and souvenirs. And you might be wondering where to find the giant fries we showed you in the beginning of this video. You can find them at the Covenanter Hotel, which has its own restaurant and pub. We hope you liked the highlights of our Falkland getaway. Subscribe and stay tuned for our next episode on Inverness and the Scottish Highlands.